Hello everyone, so today's video should be a pretty short one. We're going over how to parametrically add text onto dice. Um, so I had a few comments on my previous designing a d20 videos or asking, you know, how can we get this to parametrically be set up? Um, and I figured out a decent way to do it. Um, so first I'm going to bring up my parameters and you can see we have a few different things in here. So we have our side length which is obviously the size of the dice. It's 14, and that value is 14. Um, some other things that we have in here is the um, text offset. So this is how far our text is off from the ground. You can see I can move it around and it updates nicely. Um, actually, let's set that back to one. Um, the text height, so if I change this one, it didn't update particularly nicely before. Um, so you can see it scales up a bit. Um, and then last but not least, our text depth, and that's just how far we're cutting into the part. Um, and this one hasn't been doing great. It has some weird, so you can see that this sketch is not lined up with the extrusion. Um, and basically whenever I've changed the text height, it becomes misaligned for the extrusion. And I've had to um, just go into the extrude, just open it, edit it, and then it's done. Um, I'm not 100% sure why it's doing that, um, but luckily there is that quick fix that all you have to do is go in and edit the extrude, and then it will update. So you can see now it's all sorts of out of whack. Come down here, edit feature, edit feature, and hit OK. Um, so it's not as good as it could be, um, but it is an improvement over having to manually make all the changes and all the numbers and all the spots. Um, so the way we did this is using this sketch. Um, so it was made on this face and somehow out of whack. That's fun. Um, we have this text offset value, we have our height here, and we have our um, a function based width here. So for this one, I took the original, originally I had this text at a height of eight. So this 10.1 value was the width of the height when it was at eight. And then I just made this little function here, so it adjusts it to match whatever proportion. So if the height was four, it would be half as tall and it should be half as wide. This would be eight divided by four, so it'd be divided by two, it'd be half as wide. Um, and this means that the text box here stays lined up with the outside of the number because if you don't have that width controlled, you end up with the text box staying at whatever the original size was. By keeping the text box linked to that original width, we can center it correctly. Um, so I'll go ahead and set up another one. I'll do text right here. And I'll just do the number two. And I think we're doing that. And it doesn't really help to put um, the parameter in here. Putting it in here doesn't fix it. Um, and I tried that first and it didn't work, so we don't need to do that. Um, like you saw on the other one, I want to make that horizontal, that way it is not jumping around. Then we'll do centers here and horizontal vertical construction, make this the text offset. You'll notice that it changed the size of my thing, so I'm just going to go and set it back to 8 so that we're all good here. Um, this one, I am starting out by dimensioning as 8, but I'll go back and change that. Then here, it's this divided by 8 divided by text height. Um, and now we can update this to be text height. So now you can see it's lined up. Um, and this will perfectly center the numbers. If you wanted to have some of your numbers offset slightly, you could include that offset in here. Obviously, that makes it more complicated. Um, if you want to use different offsets for different numbers, then you're going to need however many different offsets you want. 
um, and that would just mean instead of using a midpoint constraint you're using some other form of constraint connecting this offset line to your number um, so now if we uh, go in and we extrude this we can extrude this the text depth and I can turn these off and let's say I think they can go a little bit higher so we can just uh, tick offset 0.75 or actually that was down 1.5 um, and like I said before changing the text height does cause them to do weird stuff so you may have to go in and hit edit feature okay and is that one out of whack? no um, so yeah, that is parametric dice spaces.